guys all right all right guys how we doing uh welcome back to the channel today's video is a really cool test i did a test where i tested 24.3 with the 2.54 transducer then i did a test with 26.2 with the 2.54 transducer and then i did a test with 26.2 and the 2.57 transducer did all three of those combinations um, I'm a believer that 26.2 is not only the best one, that's the best one Garmin's come up with. As, as they tinkered with 26.1, which was not great, 26.2, they made some little small improvements, and I love it. Um, I know I'm going to get pounded for that because there's going to be people come in and say that they got voids and they have this and that. Now, I understand that. Me personally, and a lot of people that have finally got their settings right, uh, we love it and i wish everybody could get that same you know satisfaction from this software update but i went ahead and tested it so let's take a look at these testings and uh i'm not giving out any settings all i can say is i went with my old settings on the 24s and i went with the new type settings on the 26 settings and we'll take a look at it but guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing tomorrow we're gonna have the 14.1 um it's not going to be in real real deep water but the 14.1 <clears throat> is before perspective mode no voids no ghost tree that's what i've heard let's find out let's get into this one first don't forget about chattyboys.com don't forget about x hd mounts i've got a brand new mount i'm going to be putting on the boat from from them uh, they're giving away one for our our 10K. Chatty Boy's throwing in huge deals for our 10K. Summit Outdoors mounts, uh, like perspective mode mounts. That's what that is right there. Uh, right there. They're, they're throwing in. I mean, this thing's getting really big. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get into it. Let's start off with 24.3 software update 2.54 on the transducer. Here's what I did. Let's just let me let, let you know how I did it. We'll do it right off the bat. I just turned on the helm feature, push record, and went fishing. I put the phone down. I fished for three or four minutes on each of these, just kind of scanning back and forth, doing what you do when you're fishing, looking, moving, not being real still. And uh, I set these settings up. Um, uh, for my old settings i remember what they were I, I i did it the same way every single time not a lot of adjustment on these um and i just went fishing because i did not want to sit there and try to manipulate the test i wanted the test to be like just put the phone down fish i wasn't looking i was just fishing and the one of the first things i noticed was on this particular 24.3 is the fish um you, you can see the crappie real good. White perch for us Louisiana boys or Sacolay, but we're going to call them crappie for the day. Um, I can notice that there's a lot of, um, not ghost tree, but a lot of reflection. A lot of reflection of the beam in different directions, especially when you get around these are con concrete bridge uh, pylons. And uh, you've seen them in other videos. It's just one of my good spots. It, I mean, I always catch fish on these things. I noticed a lot of reflection in the water. And um, not all the time. Not all the time. Could see, I could see my jig very well with this. Um, I'm real happy. But when you hit those beams or right on those beams, you would notice those ghost tree. But not just in the ghost tree area around the 20, 25 foot. You would notice it all around the beams. It, um, and I noticed you you could see the, the stitching areas where they cross these beams a lot of times. Nothing that was unfishable. Uh, not trying to persuade you in any one direction or not. Just saying what I noticed here. Um, didn't see any voids. I will say that. Didn't see any voids. I was in this 25 foot, the crappie area. Didn't see any voids. Didn't have trouble finding my bait or anything like that. I noticed the fish weren't quite as sharp. Now, uh, I, I could see um, 
the tail region of some of these fish and I and I mean you can see them swimming pretty good sorry about the keys there they flopping and hopping so I'm gonna try to get them to stop but I can notice that uh, I could see the fish but they weren't real sharp but they were definitely no problem weeding them out from the bottom or anything like that um, and so I just kind of went fishing and you know no manipulation of it and I just went fishing for four or five minutes this video is going to be extremely long uh, you can kind of fast forward each each part is about four four and a half minutes and then I switch to another uh, software portion it is definitely long I'm sorry for that but you know, just scan your finger over and fast forward to what you want to see watch you a minute or two of each if you want then move on to the next one but this is kind of the end of the old 24.3 with the 2.54 uh, transducer software update. Next, I'm going to go to the 26.2 software, but I'm still going to hold on to the 25, 24. I mean, uh, excuse me, the 2.54 uh, transducer. Uh, this is the one that some people are telling me this is magic. You know, this is the magic one, and I got to say, out of the three. This was the worst one personally that I saw. Look at all the go the ghost tree artifacts. I mean, when you hit one of those beams, it is everywhere. Um, I mean, it's it's looks. I mean, it looks like you got a ghost. The whole screen's a ghost tree. Now, with that, I don't see any voids in those ghost tree areas. So, not saying that that's a bad thing. Just saying what I noticed. But look right there from zero to five. Or five excuse me five behind the boat to five in front of the boat um i mean there's a ghost tree there there's a ghost tree in the 20 to 25 the normal ghost tree there's one there's some some uh uh i'm just gonna call everything that i see a ghost tree there's a ghost tree at the 10 foot when you hit these beams especially when you hit the beams dead on now uh, once again no problem seeing that jig no problem at all seeing the jig no problem seeing the fish uh, but you did notice like right there where those fish are a lot of fuzz around those fish now I'm going the winds kind of blowing and kind of weird up under this um, So I'm kind of going around moving around, but I'm not looking at the screen just recording So this is just normal fishing, you know moving around a little bit fighting the wind like everybody else does fights the wind and Just you know doing your thing and just doing some fishing um, You can see out there about the 25 foot mark now. I want you to notice this in the top half of the shad, uh, it, it kind of looks like crappie. In the bottom half, it looks like, I don't know, almost like rain. So those beams didn't stitch together well at the 20 to 25 foot mark. Uh, if you look at these crappie right there below the boat, uh, you can see those real well. No problem. Just noticing the, uh, just noticing the uh, lot of the you know, lack of a better word, the ghost tree or the excessive returns, and those are just from strong returns. Uh, it, it doesn't really mean anything. It just, it's, it's there. I just wanted to bring it up to the attention of how much is there. Look at that right there. Lots and lots of interference. But it doesn't seem to affect the picture. You'll see me right here. I'm, I'm going to play with some of the settings and see if I can get them TVG high. It just kind of filtered it out too much. I turned the ghost reject on. Honest God, didn't see anything different. Um, this is before they had the auto. Uh, here's the noise reject. I kicked in on high, but one thing I hate about noise reject high is how it, may, it the, it's not a smooth movement. You don't see the. It, it kind of gets almost like it's in slow motion. Everything's in slow motion. Not a big fan of noise reject high uh, in, in any of the software updates I've ever had. Now we're going to move to my favorite, the 26.2 with the 2.57 um, transducer. This is the latest update on both of those. And uh, just kind of go through, and as I put it on there, I just want to go through, I'm trying to get the rain set just perfect there. Um, and I, I noticed, like I said, you'll see definitely a hotter return. That's one thing. And I've got, I think my gain's on 68, but there's definitely a hotter return um, than, um, than, than the other ones. So you, you definitely can see a difference in the hotness of it. Now I'm looking out there and I want to bring this attention like I did on the other one. 
um, out there about 20 feet um, where those shad were and I'm kind of standing around here going back and forth but out there where those shad were the same thing that it happened on the one before uh, different beams kind of showed them a little bit different in different ways and um, uh, it looks like rain kind of in there but I will say this it's uniform from top to bottom not as much where one beam kind of showed a little differently than the other this one kind of looks like they all kind of have that the shad all have that rain look uh, I don't know particularly what that is you can see a big a big school of white perch right below the shad right there uh, pretty cool um, I will say the fish look different um, uh, not that it's a bad thing but they look different on this update as opposed to the other one um, they look I could see my bait real well no different than the other ones but the fish look a little different it looked like they're a little bit more refined like the computer is really trying to clear up the fuzz around uh, every object on the screen um, trying to clean that screen up and I want you to notice that on this screen um, I, and I'm running noise reject on low TVG low ghost treat off um, color gain 80 and color limit on this one is at 40 um, and I, I, there's not a whole lot of the ghost tree returns not saying the ghost tree isn't there it's just you don't see all that interference like you did on the other two uh, doesn't make it better or worse it just didn't seem to have much as on screen uh, interference as the other two so uh, take that for what you will uh, but it definitely it definitely is a cleaner picture and, and, and this is in the 25 and I got it on set on 30 feet it's definitely a cleaner picture especially with 26.2 uh, 26.1 I don't know what they did between 26.1 and 26.2 but they they cleaned it up a lot that little tweak they made with that blue color palette, I think it kind of bled into the other parts of this uh, of this software update, and I think they got more of their intended uh, results with this one right here. I, I really do believe that this is more of what they intended it to be. Um, I don't have any dead spots, but I haven't had any dead spots uh, that I can say on any of the three, not in the zero to 30 foot range. I, I just never did have any uh, dead spots. I did notice if you look down about the 20 foot mark right there, it kind of looks a little uh, glitchy inside the shad for a second there. Um, like the computer was working real hard to clean it up. Um, so just bringing everything to the attention that I see. Uh, still can see fish swimming around. Um, we'll say that they're not as fuzzy. I, I don't know how to say this. They're not as, they don't have that little fuzz around them. So they seem to be a little bit more refined. <clears throat> and uh, I, I don't know what that's from. But I'm in the same area on all three of these. I literally uh, let it run for three or four minutes, five minutes. <clears throat> Updated to the next one. Let it run three or four or five minutes updated to the next one. I probably spent 20, 30 minutes total doing all the updates and getting everything set up and literally just kind of went fishing, you know, dropping the jigs down, just kind of looking around, uh, no manipulation, not trying to hold it in a jig, hold it in one area versus in the other software, not holding there. I put the phone down and just went fishing and didn't have trouble seeing my jig in any of this. I will just say that the 26.2 is personally my favorite. I think it's a cleaner picture. Uh, I don't have problems seeing the uh, don't have problems seeing any uh, the jig or the fish. So I would say that I'm sticking with 26.2. But I will say this: I am going to run the test today again, like I said, on 14.1, uh, which is supposed to be. The one, the only, the greatest software update ever in the history of Garmin LiveScope. And I'm going to run it, and I'm going to pit it head-to-head -head versus 26.2 and 2.54. I'm going to have to look up what the version of the transducer was. I think it's 2.50, maybe 2.51. Uh, they haven't done a whole lot of transducer updates, but guys... 
that's pretty much it. Uh, gonna get off of here and let you guys uh, just kind of make your mind up for yourself. And uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And you know I'm not just going to leave you hanging right here like usual. You know I got a little bit of an outro. That's to help a few people out. Here we go. All right, guys. What would you think? You know, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Like the videos as well as watch them. And that's what we need. Lots of likes. We're trying to get this thing growing. We're growing past 6,400 now. Only 3,600 away. Who knows? Who, who could believe that? I mean, we've gained 1,400 subscribers in a few weeks. I mean, we're growing. We're flying. Uh, like and subscribe. Hey, I appreciate it. You know, tell me what you think. Tell me which one of those three combinations was your favorite. Um, but, hey, don't forget, you know, ring the bell.